Oh, it's the sound of Satan's hooves in my skull, or the sound of Coil, a band of synthesizer playing Alistair Crowley followers. They make pop promos and advertising jingles, and they're interested in the occult. Formed in 1984, Coil have issued a steady stream of albums with titles like Scatology, How to Destroy Angels, and Anal Staircase. Their motto is Ritual Music for the Accumulation of Male Sexual Energy. I've been invited to tea with Coyle at their house. It's only going to be nettle tea because their bodies are sacred and they'd never abuse them. Culture almost rewards evil or rewards bad behavior or rewards something a bit sort of over the top in the, in the dark direction. People need somebody to do that stuff for them. And they say, OK, we'll have a certain uh, allowance of evil people and they'll all be, you know, with, oh, look, he's evil, he's evil. Iggy Pop, Lord Iggy Byron, Pop, and Charles, the Man uh, Charles, Charles Manson, Manson, Marilyn Manson, Eminem. Um, coil. 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 That's it. Ten and, will do. Yeah. And, and we've chosen them, and now, because we don't, we're too scared to be evil, we'll buy bits of evil from them, i.e. our records or our artworks or Damien Hirst's artworks. You know, they're, they're buying artifacts from the artists who dare to live what they dare not live. Well, these are the charmingest occultists you could ever imagine something about embracing the dark side nowadays. It's very close to embracing the light side in the Christian days. Rather than malignant intelligences, Coyle are like lovely aunties who've had me round to tea. And yet, here is one of their artefacts, an album that's almost entirely devoted to a very well-known taboo. Why is there shit in your uh, art form, in your, in your idea of art? Why does it play such a prominent role? I shit every morning. You know, it, it's, it's manure. It's, it's, it's as sacred to me as blood or piss or shit or spunk or tears or anything. My body is sacred. You know, I'm, I, I'm, you know, I'm not just a piece of meat. It's part of, it's part of basically the Christian um, you know, way of thinking is to abhor certain bodily functions, <laughs> to, you know, well, all bodily functions to a greater or lesser extent. And uh, it's just crap. We're not scared to get our hands dirty. I mean, We're if not you scared to do with any, blood and shit. Any intense... And every, uh, uh, mental states, strange mental states. Any intense spiritual organisation or a spiritual uh, school of learning, apart from Christianity, you know, the, you'll find that monks and so on go through, uh, you know, extended periods of living amongst dead bodies and, and, um, and uh, studying those and the things, studying the decay. Yeah. Why yeah. is Christianity so concerned to be washing its hands all the time? Because it's about denial of responsibility. I want to shake people out of their existence, out of the complacency and the fact that they may think that they know everything because they don't. And whatever that takes, we will do it. Huge loud noises and strobe lights going off for 15 minutes, so people are absolutely terrified. Coyle's extensive library is stocked with books of evil. But for them, it's not evil. It's a body of knowledge from which they derive a moral code. In this moral world, evil is a game you play for special consciousness-raising rituals. They have some paintings by Crowley. Here's one of prostitutes in Berlin from 1915. Crowley never studied painting and despised anyone who did. He said when it came to art, he was an old master, since he mostly painted dead souls. You can divide people who are bad or wicked into two groups. One is those that are doing it, you know, for publicity, and the other is the people that are simply following their own path regardless of the consequences. 
Mm -hmm. And Crowley was obviously the latter. You know, he, he, the fact of him doing all the things that he did was simply because he believed that was the right thing for him to do. Once he's <coughs> given the chance to be Mr. Evil, mm. he pretty much says, OK, I will. Sure. Well, the option is to say, you know, to, to wither away and, and hide. And he was not someone who would hide. He would face up to things. That's enough of the beast, who's not very beastly anymore. <laughs>